The truth about these scary Roblox images. Sometimes Roblox games may seem innocent, but even the seemingly innocent images can contain a pretty dark backstory, and the creator of the game may not even know about it. But today, we're going to take a look at these different creepy images found on Roblox, and then figure out their true story of how they came to be. Starting with one of the most popular horror Roblox games, Smile. Now the game itself has had 21 million visits, and there's a lot of creepy things about the game. The text is generated weird, the creator of the game is this butterfly looking thing, and more sinister is the thumbnail of this weird looking person. Yeah, it seems to be like a pale white face with a lot of red under its eyes and mouth. Now what exactly is this thing? Well, I believe the creator of the game got it from this creepypasta called Gurgles and Bugman, and as you can see the creepypasta uses the same face, Um, and this time we can actually see some hair on it. It looks like it has like an afro or something. And now this image first gained popularity in Japan, someone on 4chan literally posted Posted, why do Japanese people obsess over this image? And where did this picture come from? And yeah, they even made like a whole phone case for this image. And this person responded that this face is a screamer that crashes your browser. Someone thought it was an edited pic of the marshmallow from Annoying Orange. Now it's a solid theory, but it actually comes from this website that's titled Make It Cute. Yeah, here are some examples of like not so scary images. And for some reason, a lot of them are actually censored. But on this video, we can actually see that the original image of this scary face is actually this doll. Yeah, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the doll and the creepy face. Now, not gonna lie, the doll itself does still somewhat look a bit creepy. I mean, it looks like it's missing an eye, but it's actually known as an Ichimatsu doll, more than likely from the 1930s. Yeah, see, it's got similar hairstyles as these other ones, and these dolls are typically known to be, like, friendship dolls, as it was made to teach Japanese children how to, like, love and care for one another. People theorize that this image was actually taken out of an auction website. So, yeah, yeah, the image itself may look creepy, but that's more than likely due to its age. I mean, it is literally from the 1930s. But the next creepy image that I've seen across Roblox is this one called This Man. Yeah, that's literally the name of this picture. This man in Area 51. Have you seen this man in your dreams? And yeah, just looking at it, it seems to be like a police drawing of like a sketch of a wanted person. They don't look too terrifying, but I've always wondered, is this a real person? And were they wanted by the police at one point? And it's mainly popular in a lot of like the Nico's Next Spots games. So going onto the Wikipedia here, we can actually get some more information. And so the truth behind this image is that this man is a myth revolving around a portrait that was supposedly drawn by a mental patient. Oh, that's interesting. The image gained notoriety due to the website thisman.org. Wait, it has its own website? Yeah, going off of the story that a patient drew this face, they stated that they kept seeing this face of a person in their dreams. In more than one occasion, that man has given her advice on her private life. The woman swears she has never met the man in her life. And it says here that slowly more and more people started seeing this man in their dreams. Again, never actually seeing him before. Yet yeah, there's even videos from like 14 years ago that says every night thousands of people dream of this man. All he did was run after me saying puh over and over again. Oh, okay. And now the website is actually true. It does actually exist. Every night throughout the world hundreds of people dream about this face. And yeah, that's the exact same sketch right there. We've got a whole history about it. We've got dreams that people have said they've had of this person. There's even like other portraits of this face. Wait, is this how the person actually looks like? Oh no, am I gonna have dreams about this now? I'm kind of scared. Wait, they've actually put it around the world as well? Dude, that's crazy. Now, while this may seem creepy, you will be happy to know that this whole website and this whole story about a patient drawing this is all just fabricated, meaning it's not actually real. Yeah, this was all done to promote a film titled This Man, which is supposed to be like a horror movie about people having dreams about this guy. Uh, unfortunately, Unfortunately, it was never made, but ever since the widespread of this image, people have been saying that they've been dreaming about this person. Probably because they literally just saw the face and then got scared of it and then had a nightmare about it. At least that's my theory. I don't think he's actually out there to get anybody, hopefully. And now speaking of these Nico Nextbots characters, one of the more interesting ones I found was this Ellis looking figure. Yeah, it seems to be like some sort of doll. I imagine it's drawn and everything. Let's see, there's some audio about it. How does it sound like? <laughs> Oh, I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> Jump scare audio. What is this? 
No. Uh-uh, not a fan of that. Now, according to the Wikipedia, Ellis originated from Lomando.com, an interactive puzzle horror game website that was made in 2007. See, now what's creepy is I went onto the website and it's just like this cute, innocent looking website. I'm uh, I'm scared to press something because I feel like there's gonna be like jump scares or something. Here, when I click on translate to English. So there's this like uwu cat girl called Mimi who's 10,000 years old. Oh, okay. Here, what happens if I click on her? What does this do? When you're ready, click on the cat girl's ears. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's click on it. Oh, what is this? Oh no, I'm scared. Hello? All right, it's 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 loading. Hello? Oh no! What what? <laughs> what happened to the cat girl? What what happened? Oh, uh uh. No, what is this? Okay, yeah, that looks to be like the Ella's face. So it's like a horror game. All right, what what happens if I click on these? Two hours later okay so the website took a long time to load so i found a video of someone playing through it apparently it's like an hour long of gameplay it seems to be a lot of puzzles oh look isn't that the face that we first covered what is that doing there yeah it's just a bunch of different puzzles that you're supposed to play and every now and then there's like jump scares that appear oh yeah not uh not a fan of that okay <laughs> just uh let's just close out of that and so throughout the game one of the images that pops up is the ellis image that is honestly some very fascinating lore there this whole website though is pretty sus just be careful what you click on it might be a jump scare all right but i'm not sure if i talked about this next image it's from this roblox game called scp forgotten baby yeah so it seems to be like this weird giant figure poking its head out and looks to be like that of a baby i guess and honestly it looks almost real so i typed in the forgotten baby and turns out it's a trevor henderson creation you know the guy that created siren head and all those yeah the forgotten baby is also known as the pink man it has to duck under the doorway as it stepped into the room for something that big it moved very delicately and it was utterly silent as if it was a television channel that had been muted. Ooh, that's pretty haunting. Okay. Yeah, there's the full picture as posted by Trevor himself on Twitter. And you can actually see its leg or, or something there. And yeah, now this is creepy. This actually looks like my room, honestly. I hope I don't see this guy in my dreams. Um, a lot of people also say that this image is also about the forgotten baby. And Trevor writes, after the fire, the maternity ward was the only part of the hospital that was never rebuilt. Is it, is it because this thing was attacking it? everybody no yeah honestly this is horrifying I, I don't like this yeah if you know trevor henderson he's known for creating these weird creatures and making it look like real life a lot of the images are very fascinating but also very disturbing honestly i may not sleep after looking at these images all right but this next image is used in a lot of different roblox games but a lot of people don't know where it originated from and that's the troll face yeah i'm talking about that iconic face right there um there's a lot of different versions of him there's one where he's doing a little smirky face huh but then there's a ton of different different creepy versions of him. Oh yeah, what the heck is this? Trollge? What is Trollge? But yeah, where did this iconic image originate from? You've probably seen him as a Nico's Next Spots character. So the troll face is a rage comic character that originated from Carlos Ramirez. And believe it or not, but the face was done on Microsoft Paint. Oh, um, so here's the original comic. Gonna have to censor a good amount of it. But uh, according to the artist of the comic, he based this troll face off of this rodent image right here, which again, I can't say the name of the character, but the comic quickly gained traction on 4chan and originally the face was known as the cool face But yeah, the troll face was uploaded on September of 2008 and then in November 2020 That's when trolls started appearing which I guess is the more creepypasta styled version of the troll face Honestly, it's pretty funny. But yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye